this is the best little board. And it's fun, you know, it's fun yeah. to pull the lines. And, and you said this came out of a Chris Craft? This, the sink? Chris Craft, yeah, that and the doors. I love these doors, with the port lights. 1980 Perkins. In as good a condition as you're going to find. Well guys, welcome back to the harbor. I am back down in Fisherman's Village today in Punta Gorda, Florida, and I've got a really, really cool boat for you guys. It's a motor sailor, so a little bit of both, a little bit of trawler, a little bit of sailor, and uh, it's a 43, 436 to be exact, shucker, and it's been completely refit. The owner is gonna meet us down here. It's a 1980, really nice boat. Like I said, it's been completely redone, and here she is. Beautiful red hull. Was not red before. Everything has been gone through. Motor, interior. The motor sailors have a lot more space. They've got a bigger engine and just a much more comfortable boat. Nice big hard top. Big pilot house. Much more comfortable. The comfort zone. All right, so we're on board with Miss Nancy. Hi. Proud owner of the 43 Shucker, right? Is that how they pronounce it? Uh, Shucker 436. Yeah, 1980. And how long have you guys owned it? I bought it in 2016. Took it over to the DIY boat yard and um, I said I need carpenters, plumbers, mechan diesel mechanics, you, need, you name it, I need it, because it was an empty shell. So uh, 22 months later, it was done, and I hauled it out. We just completely redid everything. Wow, okay, so what's the beam on this? Very, very 14. wide. Wow, 14, okay. And what's it draw? Three and a half. Okay, so that's not bad, really, for and, a sailboat uh, at all. The original owner, because they're kind of custom made, the uh, people went to Jim Shucker and said, this is what I want. And he wanted an extra 2,000 pounds in the keel. So wow. that helps it not rock so much. Right, right. And that's basically what the sails do too. I mean, they might help with, you know, movement, but for the most part, they balance out. And where are these built? Do you know? C Cape Coral. Oh, really? Yeah, he died and he, uh, and he sold the mold to somebody, but nobody's been making them. Hmm. Yeah, okay. and they are, the hull is like an inch and a half thick. Wow. Everywhere. Deck, roof, sides, uh, everything. Okay. So it's a good, strong boat. Yeah. It's not going to win any races, but right. it'll never sink. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and how about the sails? What do you have on it for? This is the jib that we turned into a firmer. It was, both of them were just regular sails that you have to haul up. Mm -hmm. and all back down and I wanted to be able to do it all from inside myself so they put um, roller furlers on the jib hey, Tony. and on the mast and I don't have the main on right now um, but it's all new rigging is this uh, teak varnished or? It, it is fiberglass and I painted it to oh, look okay. like wood oh, that's really nice and the hull, is that all grip, or Emron, or, you it, know? Uh, it is... Oh. Looks like they did a good job. Oh, yeah, they did. Had some good people working on it. So she got very wide walkways, non-skid, nice texture, nice pattern. Top sides have all been painted. She added these, keep the sun out, Keep the water out a little bit from the windows. You can have leave your screens open, and if it's raining, stay dry. Okay, there's the anchor box. It's 
big Bruce anchor. Big, big four deck here. And a nice big hard top. I mean, this hard top is huge. If you really wanted to go solar, you could add plenty of panels here. Just got the new dinghy as well. Now, I'm not a sailor. Don't ever intend on being one, but I still love all boats, sailboats as well. So, we'll have to rely on most of the owners when we're doing sailboats to uh, point out the rigging and such. I handle here, stuff down. Really deep gunnels. And got a nice big channel here for the scuppers. Have all the water run off. There's no holding water, which surprisingly happens a lot on these boats. Areas that just constantly hold water. Got a side door on each side. Just got some fishing rods for the grandkids. Rod holders. A lot of extra storage and space on these versus a typical sailboat. Cockpit here. Sit. Have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Watch all the tourists go shopping. A little swim platform. Here's the kicker for the outboard. But yeah, I really like this big hard top. A lot of protection. You can always find a little shade. She converted these into sliders so they didn't constantly have to be slapped open into the table. So we redid everything in here, all the Put paint. Put flooring. Mm -hmm. There's the faux uh, wood paint again, which really makes it pop and looks nice. Wood flooring. Yeah, it's bamboo. It was just the subfloor when I got it. Mm -hmm. A lot of space. It's a nice big living area here. Very bright and open. Do you mostly sail it or use the motor? Motor mostly, yeah, yeah. but um, you you sail and motor at the same time mm -hmm. and it just keeps it from going up and down right. sideways. It'll it'll like but if you gotta sail up in the right kind of wind and it just smoothly smooth sailing. Yeah, yeah. Where do you cruise with it much? Like around the Gulf Not Coast? Not much or? because I need more than me mm -hmm. to um, to do it. I need somebody on on the aft deck and somebody on the bow when I'm backing out. So I need at least three people on the boat to operate this. Right. So I haven't taken it out very far. Keo Costa a few times. That's really about it. Yeah. Does it have a bow thruster? But it has been. No, I wanted yeah. bow thrusters, but yeah, that would I was so anxious to get out of the boat yard. I said, mm. Right. Next. Yeah. <laughs> we'll come back to that later. Okay. Helm. So what made you go with a motor sailor over a standard sailor oh, or a trawler? This, this is a this is the best little board. Mm -hmm. It's because it's the beam is wide and right. you know it's uh, it's just very comfortable and solid. Right. I had a little sailboat and I sailed the harbor with it all the time. I'd go out and solo sail. I can't do that with this. So I do miss that one. Um, but yeah, this one, I wanted to do the loop. That was my plan. I wanted to go on the loop. But um, I need people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to get people that you want to be with you for right, right, a yeah. year right, right. on a boat. <laughs> yep. Down into the galley main main floor. Is that Kea Costa over there? In that port light? Uh, yeah, it is actually. Yeah. Yep. yeah I love Kea Costa. Yeah, it's beautiful. This is nice. Use this. You covered the, the fiberglass. Uh-huh. It's, it's the underside of the nav station up here. Yeah, it's just a... My fingers would touch right now if... Okay. <laughs> yeah, it was just... There. 
ugly fiberglass, so she turned it into a trunk. And the table goes down, so it does become a bed. Okay. How many does it sleep? Like it could, could sleep, sleep six. Okay. Um, because the futon comes out too, up here in the in the pilot house. Nice big galley. And you said this came out of a Chris Craft? The, the sink? Chris Craft, yeah, that and the doors. The sink and, and the just, doors um, came out of a 65 Chris Craft at the, uh, out of the boat yard there that they were in. Mm -hmm. They were stripping it out, so I, um, I took advantage of that. And the, the head is a wet head. Uh, the other side of it, once you walk in, has the medicine cabinet and the shower. Um, on the other side of the door, so I've never had a problem with it. a wet head. Some people don't like them, but it doesn't get the whole bathroom wet. Right. And then you just dry it down when you're done. Yeah. Yeah, I love these doors, the port lights. Yeah, I did a lot of work on them. They they were old and ugly when I bought when I bought them off of the guy with the Chris Craft. Okay. How much were you able to pick those up for? I think they were a hundred dollars a piece. Yeah. Old ugly doors, but yeah. they're teak. Right. Good. Oh, yeah. Good strong doors, and I just refinished them and added some fun stuff. The forward bunk looks very cozy. It's nice and bright. I like the white. Most sailboats you get into feel very dark and claustrophobic. You don't feel that at all. Feel that beautiful February breeze coming through here. Really nice. The sail bags, I had just finished making them. Um, they're the original sails. And I just finished them yesterday, just in time for the new owners. Hmm. <laughs> so you do have it pending. It's got a sea trial and survey right. and haul out. Mm -hmm. And if all goes well. Yep. She will be sold. And you're gonna go go to land? Be a land lover or Yes. I want a, now I want a cabin in the woods. Yeah. I had a boat on the water, now I want a cabin in the woods. Yeah. There's also storage under your feet. There's these uh, are hatches and my projects are all under that hatch. Things that I'm working on and the one that you're standing on now is um, where I keep all my cleaning supplies. There's a lot, a lot of storage underneath. And you just went with the standard fridge just to save on... Yeah, and I run it when I'm off the dock, I run it with an inverter. Okay. Lift the stairs and the engine room is down below. Let's check out the engine room. A lot more room than a typical sailboat. It's got a lot more room than a typical powerboat. In here, it's got a Pork Perkins. 4 154 I believe completely rebuilt when they did the refit they pulled the engine rebuilder put lots of new parts on painted it painted the bilge while she was out and there's the belly of the beast right here still smells like fresh paint in here Of room for storage for all your clamps and zip ties and miscellaneous parts. Here's the air conditioner. Very nice space and a little extra storage, kind of like a catch all, like a little garage, since storage is always an issue on sailboats if you're a live aboard. You always need more storage. 1980 Perkins. In as good a condition as you're gonna find. So we've got, uh, she's got fireproof, it's called door core here. It's like a foam that is uh, fire resistant and muffles the sound of the engine while you're running. So it's pretty cool. They just painted it a wood color. There was nothing there before. 
you say nothing? Right. Yeah, so just wide open to the engine room. So now it's muffled, fire resistant, keeping things quiet. What made you get a sail, motor sailor versus a, just a trawler? Maybe with something with even more space. Well, I had a sailboat and I wasn't ready to stop playing with the wind yet. Yeah. And if the wind's right, it will help move the mm -hmm. boat. But I mean, you'd have to have good wind to just sail it. Right. Because it's heavy. Right. What's the hull speed? Do you know? Like, what's it? Six. Six knots? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And it's fun. You know, it's fun yeah. to pull the lines and yeah. watch the wind catch it. And <laughs> Wow, cute pink top! <laughs> Here comes Miss Helen. So they've got three of those boats now. Yeah, they do. Oh, this and, is And uh, you get to know good. them all. I got to know them all. They'd come yeah. over and have a glass of wine when I got off work. <laughs> okay, there you go. Power boaters, it's about the destination. With sailors, once you're on the boat, it is the destination. You are, yes, that, you're that already you're there where you want to be. It's about mm -hmm. how you're going to exactly. get there. It's just a totally different mindset and, exactly. and lifestyle. We were saying the, the builder of this boat, this, or this boat was built in Cape Coral, which is just down the road from us here. So pretty neat seeing a truly Florida built boat, local Southwest Florida builder. All right, well, I appreciate the tour. Well, thank you. I'm anxious to see it. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the tour. I really appreciate Nancy for showing us around, even though the boat looks like it may be sold. But um, as I said, I'm not a sailor, so still learning the ropes a little bit and hope to have the owners aboard most of the sailboat walkthroughs I do, at least for now. But here is a continual walkthrough of the boat just as I boarded the boat there on the port side doing a loop all the way around. I'll go inside and show you all around and stay tuned to the end. I've got some pictures from Nancy's Facebook page that she had made up specially for this boat's refit. And it's got a little bit of a before and after or mostly just before pictures. And you could see what this boat looked like a little bit before uh, she did the amazing job that they really did. Mm -hmm.